guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video so today i'm doing something a little bit different we are going to be starting a sims 3 let's play um kind of sims 3 generations but i also have a couple other packs that we may or may not explore throughout this um i'm not sure so we'll see but first off we are starting off with our sim she's so pretty um, her name is Mia Noel, and this is just like her little starter house. It was already here, but I kind of like changed the roof texture and um, redecorated a little bit. We're kind of broke, so it's a little empty, but I upgraded the kitchen because, you know, necessities. And I have a couple of CC items. These are my first CC um, furniture in The Sims 3, and it literally took me, I'm not even kidding, oh my god, it probably took like four hours just to get ready for this Let's Play with all the downloading CC and... Um, making the sim and like everything else so yeah it's been really crazy um so she's a young adult she's a scorpio um her favorite music is pop music she loves cheese steak and her favorite color is spiceberry she wears a lot of this like red like purplish maroon color so i was trying to go for a color like that and she has the good sense of humor trait she's family oriented because we're going to be doing generations hopeless romantic again generations charismatic and lucky and she has no relationships yet no career no skills nothing so we're gonna have to go um figure things out i honestly don't even know like what her goals in life are besides like finding a husband i don't know what job she's gonna have or anything i'm really nervous about that i don't know where we should work at but i think first i want to head to central park so we could meet a couple people because we currently you know don't know anyone in town although we're gonna miss our welcome wagon but i guess that's fine a little taxi what's the point in buying a car in the sims 3 when these taxis are way cheaper they're completely free and they get me where i need to go always like i don't understand that part is it just so it looks nicer like feels realistic so right off the back there's someone um eating on this picnic blanket so we're gonna say hi to him his name is michael bachelor and this is actually bella bachelor who i mean i'm sure if you're familiar with the sims you know but this is actually bella goth i believe like i'm pretty sure so i'm assuming this is like her brother or something let's ask about their age and ask about their sign oh she's cute who's this is this zelda there's this girl named zelda she's always so cute yeah that's her cute there's a lot of children around town okay so this is a teenager actually so let's um turn around and not speak to him <laughs> maybe we can catch up with zelda oh she's going home maybe we'll catch up with her again another time i just really want to get chatting with some people around town i don't know who we're gonna end up with i don't know who we're gonna be dating i don't know what kind of job we're gonna have i don't know anything <laughs> really nervous about that there's so many like different types of jobs and i do have ambitions so there's like a lot <laughs> i just don't know i just don't know what to do i don't know who the right choice is i'm just kind of I feel like in the sims 3 it's just harder like is it that way for anyone else i'm not sure obviously i've been playing the sims 4 since 2014 so i'm not used to sims 3 anymore but i know the gameplay is a lot better and since i've been doing lps on my channel i figured i might as well do one that like is actually interesting and like, has gameplay and stuff i do have a couple of mods like nothing really i have the um nros mod which is like mc command center um and that's about it so <laughs> we'll see how this goes this woman looks glamorous look at her little contour look at that she's fancy our sim is so cute as well i really like mia she's so beautiful oh there she is <laughs> i don't have a ton of cc i spent a long time like i said a few hours getting ready for this but i spent a long time getting ready for this but i still don't have a ton i'm really nervous because we're gonna have to um we're gonna have to get a job which i just don't know what to do I have no idea. Like, we could be a chef. Her traits don't really help us out much. Um, and then she's gonna be, like, a mom, so I don't know if she'll have time for that. There is, like, the stylist career, but I don't really want to do that. She could be a firefighter, but that's, like, all the time, you know? I don't want her working all the time. We do have, like, charisma, so maybe we can be, like, a politician. Oh, we could join the education career. Okay, let's do that. That makes sense because she um she's family oriented. She loves kids. Oh, and look at that. The school's right there. Beautiful. Hopefully we get a decent amount of money from this because we do have our bare necessities at home, but nothing really nice. Okay, so the education career. We start off as the playground monitor, $20 an hour, and we got the weekends off. Okay, at least we get the weekends off. Our boss is Dorothy. Chat with her. 
my god, she's her name's Dorothy and she had a little cowboy hat. <laughs> We're just gonna have her chat a little bit with Dorothy just to get ready. Oh, in her lifetime wish, I forgot to mention, there were so many. Um, I didn't even know which one to choose, but I chose swimming in cash. And our main goal is just to get 50,000 simoleons in household funds because the other option for like the family was to have five kids and I don't think Mia wants five kids. She's family oriented, but that does not mean she wants a thousand babies. Um, and I do feel like she's, you know, she's a little bit, she's a little classy. Um, you'll see her outfits throughout the Let's Play, but she does have a secondary everyday outfit. I'm sure we'll add more as time goes on. But this is her other outfit. She's super cute. I love her. Okay, so now that we have a job. Okay, we don't need any skills for it just yet. So that's good. I don't know what we should do, really. We need skills. We need to talk to people. I love the open world. It's so refreshing compared to Sims 4. Like, in The Sims 4, I never leave my house. If you watch my Let's Plays, you know, like, I know that I should, but I don't even think about it because, like, why would I leave my house to go through 20 minutes of loading screens every time I leave the lot? Whereas here, I love that I can just, like, come along and check everything out. <laughs> Say hi to her. We're just gonna greet everybody, okay? She's she's a friendly sim. She doesn't have the trait, but she's friendly. Oh, look, there's a little, um, do you know how to use this camera better than me? Let me know because I am terrible at it. I'm used to the Sims 4 camera, but there's a little bake sale right here, which is so cute. Ooh, a caramel brownie. That sounds amazing. Oh, nobody's running the stand right now. It's so sad because that looks amazing. <laughs> I wonder if this is like maybe one of her kids. Oh look, Zelda came back. Let's go ahead and say hi to Zelda. I feel like she and Mia would be really good friends. I don't know why, but I just get that feeling. And she wants to become friends with Dor with Dorothy. Let's go ahead and do that because it is her boss and everything. And let's just get to know Zelda a little bit. Ask about her career. Ask her sign. She's just like, girl, I'm new in town. I don't know anyone, but you're gorgeous. And I feel like we'd be really good friends. She's 11 days older than us. Oh, an older woman, I see. Let's coo over children. To know her a little bit. Enthuse about the new house, even though she's not entirely happy with it. She's hoping to make it cute. It's kind of like a trailer a little bit. So she definitely wants something bigger when she has more kids, but it'll work for now. And let's ask her if she's single. Ask if she knows any men around town that want to be a husband, want to be a father, because <laughs> we need that. She just wants a baby so badly. That's like, she wants money and she wants a baby, like equally. A baby, a husband, and some money for a house. She wants to give her kid everything. Her baby's gonna be so spoiled. I don't know how many kids she wants to have. I just know she wants like at least one. Maybe two, you know, but not five. <laughs> Zelda single. I'm surprised. I doubt she'll be for long. She's so beautiful. Molly French is really pretty too. Oh my god, this is like Eliza Pancakes walking by. <laughs> Zelda's fashion, however, orange shorts and zebra print, and she's heavy on the bronzer. I, I'm not a huge fan of animal print personally. I know everybody else is, and it's like a trend, but that is not for me. <laughs> Not at all. So we're going to have her chat with Zelda for a little bit and I don't know, maybe head home and cook some dinner. So she just became friends with Zelda, but she sees a man over here in a suit. So she wants to come introduce herself and, you know, see if he's got a wife at home or anything. See if he's got a wallet. She's just looking for the love of her life and, you know, find that you've got to ask around. You got to see what's going on. Oh, here's a Marty. Okay. Oh, he's a virtu virtuoso. I go. I love the theater. Do you own the theater <laughs> with your business suit? I want her to say hi to Marty too. Um, and we'll see what's going on there. And this this crow <laughs> so loud in our ears. Oh, he's probably married to her, huh? Probably. He's also family oriented though. If anything, we can be friends. You know, she's a friendly sim. She's happy with anything. I hope she finds someone of her dreams, though, because that's all she wants. She just wants to be happy. And this town is so beautiful. This park is lovely. Everybody seems really friendly so far, which is great. Let's just right off the bat ask if he's single, just to know where we stand initially. He's getting a bit warm. Um, It's currently summer, so... He loves the outdoors. Nice. Let's ask about his sign. Okay, he's married. I feel like this guy's married to the girl in the fur coat. They're, they're so fancy. <laughs> Zelda's over on the swing set. <laughs> and there's a group of girls over here on the picnic, having a picnic, and we're hungry too. So I think I'm going to have her come over here and grab a plate and chat with everybody. Can I? Hello? <laughs> what? I can't have a plate, ladies? 
Wow, apparently we got kicked out. Oh my goodness. Let's introduce ourselves to Molly. She's really pretty. And then I think we need to head home because her stats are low. Oh, but first, it looks like someone is finally running this bake stand. And, you know, she's hungry right now. So I think she's going to go with chocolate cake. $7. I don't even care. Worth it. Oh, Molly's a hopeless romantic too. She's getting along really well with Molly. Maybe she and Molly will be really good friends too. That's great that she found two girlfriends already um, right off the bat. Really good. Who's this? Kaylin. Cute. She's gonna go eat her cake. Park is so beautiful. I know a lot of people say The Sims 3 is ugly, but honestly, I think it's so cute. I love it. Who's this? Dave Ramsey. Hello. He just stole this picnic basket. And I think he's gonna steal those hot dogs too. We're gonna pee our pants in front of him, but it must be done for the sake of possibly finding her soulmate. Ooh, her phone's ringing. Let's see. Oh, it's Zelda. <laughs> We're gonna chat with her just to, you know, she's our new friend, so. Okay, so Mia is exhausted. We need to get her home and rested. And she has work tomorrow, and it's midnight. So I may have overlooked that a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay. And this is like the university um, basket thing. I'm just going to sell this for some money because we're not going to go to university. We might, like our kids in the future might go to university. I don't know if I want to incorporate everything into this Let's Play or if I want to do kind of like separate Let's Plays. So like this one will be Generations and then we can do a uni university one. Um, I might definitely do the university one. I think that'll be fun. Um, and I don't know, like an ambitions one, a little maybe like mini series for each of them. Um, generations will probably be the longest considering um, generations. So yeah, we'll see. Definitely see. And I keep getting a bunch of notifications that this guy is flirting with a bunch of other women. And we found out earlier that he's married to a woman named Justine. So I don't know. There's already some drama. Day one of the, day one on the town. So I guess we're going to let her sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, so she's just waking up and she has to get to work very shortly. I don't even know if she has she's has time for anything, honestly. We're going to go ahead and get her a green salad. Hopefully she can eat it before work. I honestly don't know. We stayed up way too late last night. I did not mean to do that. I feel so bad. I think she was just so excited. So excited to meet everybody in town. She just got completely carried away and didn't even notice that the sun went down. And this is an interesting outfit. Definitely not her style for her first day of work. We might need to go in and um, edit that a little bit because it's definitely not her style. <laughs> we might give her a couple of other outfits too, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And she's heading off to work. This is the most boring part about having just a single sim is like when they go to work and you know, we're just sitting here staring at our house. So I guess I'll see you guys when she gets off work. And she wants to get to know her coworker. So I guess while she's at work, since it's just a rabbit hole, we'll go ahead and end this part here. And let me know how you guys are liking the series. Let me know if you're excited for it. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and hit that notification bell so you never miss another episode. Bye, guys.